and we are taping. All right, uh, hello all our listeners. Uh, Andrew Hill today at Tennis Coach History. So we're picking key people in Australian history and their coaching story and their history. Today we have Peter Taylor. So welcome to the show, Peter. Thank you. Now um, we'd like to firstly uh, know what was your first tennis experience, please? Yes, uh, at 16 years of age, I was appointed secretary of Maitland City Tennis Club, which had a mo modest membership of 25 adults and 30 juniors. I had developed a dream to introduce and improve the opportunities for tennis players in the Hunter Valley. Um, soon thereafter, I was uh, also appointed as secretary of the Hunter Valley Central Coast Junior Tennis Association. Uh, a position I held for 30 years, and we improved the entry uh, entry teams for that particular competition from 12 to over 50 teams, where teams comprise four or five players. That's excellent. And what was your first tennis club? My our first tennis club was Maitland City Tennis Club, and yes, uh, my involvement as secretary there became. Uh, fairly busy and I procured for improvements to the club three government grants and that was in the years 1974 to 1977. Total grants amounted to $63,000 towards a new clubhouse and improving playing facilities to the 12 existing courts and yes uh, that was a major job for the area. Yeah look and 12 courts uh, what a great infrastructure. And what was your first pro coach experience? Uh, my first pro coach experience was a great opportunity given to me by Rod Brent of Newcastle originally and he was Junior Davis Cup for Australia and he went to America under Harry Hopman and Rod uh, in early 1977 he asked if I could uh, go over and do some coaching in um, the New York area at his club and the opportunity to uh, go over there was just magnificent and uh, yes, the summer club which is four months was called Bailiwick and it had uh, uh, a great coaching program and I averaged 54 hours a week over the four months of summer and one week I did 65 hours and yes, uh, the learning in that particular period was uh, fantastic and I saw for the first time in my life that there was more than one way to coach a player uh, in particular technique because uh, I had been uh, coaching under what we might call the very stringent Australian style of coaching. And um, now you also had some time at the Custom Credit Open. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, the Custom Credit Operation Tennis was introduced by Newcomb and Roach from 1980 to 84 and John approached me to be a state director with uh, Richard Howes of Wollongong at the time and yes, uh, over five years we were very busy with what was a national program outside of the established uh, tennis associations and uh, that became very very successful and we improved the pathways in particular for regional Australia. Now it, that also flowed on can you tell me a little bit about how you linked McDonald's with your Hunter Academy? Yes with uh, McDonald's Junior Tennis Australia, which was the official junior development for Tennis Australia from 1985 to 1996, I was appointed as a state director for the entire 12 years and uh, Warren Marks, a McDonald's owner operator, was also uh, the only other state director for that extended period. Uh, McDonald's was a fantastic, fantastic program and uh, they're, they were a very, very professional organisation and yes, their uh, finance towards the development of Australian junior tennis was terrific. 
I led from McDonald's into um, a program for the Australian Institute of Sport Regional Program, which was the Hunter, Valley, Hunter Tennis, uh, uh, sorry, the Hunter Academy of Sport, Sport, and from 2000, sorry, from 1990 to 2005. I was the Hunter Regional Head Coach for that particular program. And uh, yes, the development of 10 boys and 10 girls, the top juniors for the Hunter Valley was very, very rewarding. And uh, yes, we had weekly coaching at Taylor Tennis Academy for 10 boys and 10 girls. And it was complemented with um, professional development and statewide tournament play throughout the year. Now this sounds like when the tennis Taylor Tennis Academy started. Yes, it was, and uh, the Taylor Tennis Academy was uh, a challenge for us to have our own facility, and we did so at Morpeth, township of Morpeth in the Hunter Valley, and our family of five lived on site for 27 years. and. It was also known as the Rayworth Tennis Club. And uh, yes, we had the involvement of a lot of people from throughout the Hutter region. Now, if you've got family, but you also had this extended family called the team. Can you tell me a little bit about your team philosophy? Well, once with my background in America, I learned for the first time how important it was to have other team members around the actual tennis player. The student had to, could not be doing anything on their own. They, for the development of a junior tennis player, I feel as though there should be at least three or four other members to an advanced player's team. And under all circumstances, I'd be encouraging that to include a parent. The team approach to me was introduced by Nuka and Roach with Custom Credit Operation Tennis and then uh, throughout my coaching career, everything I did, I, I found as though private coaching had to lead into a team coaching program and yes, I believe that uh, the tennis player cannot do anything, cannot progress on their own unless they've got say, for example, exercise program, educational program, tournament match play program, three important areas. Excellent. Now, um, with all that experience, uh, that led into an opportunity to be TCA Coach of the Year. Can you tell me a bit about that? Well, in January or late December 1996, uh, the actual presentation was made at the the Ford Australian Open, but sure, I was given the honour of uh, Tennis Professional TPA Australia and Tennis Coaches Australia um, National Coach of the Year, and that honour was bestowed upon me by the President Alan McDonnell and the of uh, TCA te President and uh, Tennis Australia President. Jeff Pollard, uh, a very, very high honour that I wasn't expecting. And uh, yes, the uh, basis of my selection was my coaching from elite level to participation level, specialised areas including coach education and coaching disabled athletes, and the service to tennis including administration, tennis committees and team management. A wonderful honour. It, that sounds absolutely brilliant and that sort of, you open up many more opportunities uh, with ideas and tournaments for ch uh, children. Can you tell me a bit about that? Yes, in combined with uh, Tennis New South Wales, at this stage I saw uh, the necessity for improved match play programs and uh, we, we were lucky enough to be uh, appointed as a director for running a uh, both national and regional tournaments, and in particular the Hunter region, we had where we had over 300 juniors on a regular weekly tournament program with round robin play. Um, yes, 
this particular opportunity with my running tournaments led to I was uh, invited uh, to be working on the tournament desk of the New South Wales Open at White City and then Homebush Bay. I did every year from 1991 to 2002. And that experience and um, opportunity led to my being chosen as the tennis players announcer at the Sydney Olympics. An experience over 12 days that I will never forget. What an experience. That's great. Now, it also goes out of Australia. You had some international tennis opportunities. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, uh, obviously because of my experience of the um, early visit to the United States. And uh, yes, I was working with teams here and an organisation called Cultural Exchange Australia, where I ended up uh, taking 20 international tours, uh, two adult tours, one to Wimbledon, one in the UK, and one to uh, California and Washington State. And then also I had 16 junior tours to USA, New Zealand, and Wimbledon. These junior tennis teams all came from my selection out of the Hunter region and yes, each team normally comprised between 12 and 24 players. I was the manager each time. Um, on top of all uh, that busy program over 20 years, I had the fortune with my wife and I to have our daughter reach a very high level of tennis and uh, Jane had the highest, her highest international ranking was 95 when her performances included winning two national junior titles, three Australian national masters besides 10 WTA tour events. What, and, what a great experience. <laughs> yes, uh, it was Right from the start, um, in my opinion, we, we worked as a team, as a family, and uh, many opportunities came to all members of our family. Look, um, what a great life, what a great passion of tennis, and uh, look, thanks for your time today. Uh, that is absolutely brilliant hearing your story. Uh, thank you very much. It's uh, been an honour to be part of the tennis family of Australia. Thanks, Peter. Keep well. Thank you.